together. So, here's some fun facts about the Grudgeinator. He thinks Green Day is the most metal band in the world. He thinks Rob Halford is not the greatest vocalist in the world. So you got it this time? Got yeah, I got it. You got it? Now? All, All right. right. What else? Internet land. So now that awkward pause is out of the way. Yes. Um How was your week, the doctor? My week? Well, there's some shit that happened this week. Yeah, there is a lot of shit that happened this week. Like, holy hell. Yeah. And what I want to talk about is a show I started watching. And I should have started watching it sooner. But holy shit, it's amazing. Neon Genesis Evangelion. That shit is fucked. Nice. It's it's really good. Um, there's there's a lot of stuff that happens in it. Lots of mental breakdown stuff. And lots of blood. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. I've never actually seen Evangelion, so I can't say anything. Well, basically, the main character is a kid named Shinji, and what I like about him, and what surprisingly a lot of people don't like about him, is that he's a very human character. Like, basically the show is about, like, piloting robots and, and whatever, it's a mecha show, and instead of being, oh yeah, I want to go in the robot, like... He's like, no, I don't want to go in the robot. I don't want to die. I'm 14, Dad. Stop forcing me into fighting eldritch abominations. Holy shit. That's what I would do if I was in a giant robot in the future. Yeah. I'd probably lose my Actually, shit. it's it takes place, like, next year. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's always weird whenever you watch something from, like, 1995. It's like, wasn't Robocop supposed to be in, like, 2007? Yeah. Fucking wild. Like, Evangelion is supposed to take place in 2015. <laughs> That's awesome. We're not any closer to robot technology yet, I guess. Well, technically, like, we've had crazy robot technology in that universe since 2000. So, what you're saying is we should have robots by now. Yes. I want... But then again, we don't have any angels. Well, you're scared of driving. The, main, the bad guys are angels. Or at least that's what they're called. Alright. They're like freaky monster things. So tell me, uh, you're terrified of driving. Would you ever use one of those self-driving cars? Mm -hmm. Maybe. I don't know. Like, you rode with me in the car that one time to your graduation party, and I almost got lost. Like, yeah. Robots, robots don't get lost. Like, so, I, robots, actually, I actually heard that, like, you know those automatic, like, those self-driving Google cars? Yeah. Like, there's only been two crashes, and one of the crashes was when, like, it was actually manned. That's something to think about. Because, you know, robots, people are like, oh my god, robot uprising. Robots are better than us in every single way, so you might just want to deal with that. Yeah, I'd be a robot. Robots can't, Robots don't get tired. Robots don't text and drive. Robots just are already my better. I into a computer already, so I can pilot a robot. So I can just pilot the internet. You know? I can tell, I wish I could just tell everyone where to go on the internet. I need to go to Google. How about you go to Tumblr and 4chan? Yeah. I've always thought that idea was so cool. Like, the idea that since your brain waves are just, like, electromagnetic energy, like, that they can be copied 
into like a computer and like you can just just be a robot. Yeah, you, you download know? yourself into a robot. That's you, like you like. don't even need your body. No. You know, you don't. You're just you're just a big sack full of blood and organs, and you're kind of useless compared to robots. Yeah, like just put my brain in the, my just put my brain waves into a robot. And just build a, like, grow a tree or something. I don't know. <laughs> grow a tree? Yeah. It'll yeah. be the most sexy tree in the world, that's for sure. Sexy robot tree. Come out July, be the jam cast. Yeah. Trademark so, video. how's your week been? My week has been full of stupid bullshit. I've been playing the new Pokemans. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, the thing that's bullshit about the two, the 3DS, the, like, the default SD card that's in there is only 2 gigabytes. I know, that's kind of shitty. So I can, like, I can't download anything on it. I only have Smash on it, and it's, like, three-fourths of the data. Yeah. I just picked up, um, a, full, a you know, physical copy. It's good. Um, it's been a while since I actually played um, Ruby and, uh, what's the fuck, Sapphire, so I really can't compare it very well, but it's a Pokemon game, it's great. If yeah. you like all, all the Pokemons, you'll be good with this one, it's great. My you only mean, problem is that I, I think it's a little... Too much bit, water. Too much water, shut up. It's easy to over-level, is what I'm th- saying. Um, I spent maybe, maybe it's just my own fault, but I spent, like, a good two hours looking for an Abra, because I wanted an Alakazam, because Alakazam's OP. Oh, okay. And I spent probably a good amount of time grinding for three hours in the first route or two, so I probably just over-leveled myself, but uh, other than that, it's not as easy as X and Y was, it's just I probably over-leveled. Yeah. And now I'm OP, my Alakazam is super OP and just kills everyone in one hit, it's amazing. So yeah, you got Omega Ruby, I'm just gonna get Elk with Sapphire because of that, because I don't know which one is actually better. Well, the only reason I got um, Ruby was so that I could get a C dot, because apparently C dot's not in that one. So I assume Aaron won't be in the other one. Will be in the other one. Uh, no, it's uh, C dot or Ludicolo, or not Ludicolo, but uh, whatever. The thing that evolves into Ludicolo. All right, because. I was actually talking to Brian, who had it before me, and he said you can't get a C dot in, in Sapphire, and so that immediately made me switch. I also, I'm also doing something different, which is I used what's his name? I used Mudkip the first time. This is hmm. the first Pokemon game where on my first run I've never used a Fire type because Fire types really? are the shit. I usually always use Water the first run. I'm also glad that the entire internet noticed that, um, what's his name, Marsh Stomp in the middle is really fucking weird. Yeah. Just just making the derp face all the time, I love it. We're, we're bringing that meme back, guys. It's funny again. No. I heard you like not. Marsh Stomps. No, it's not. Don't you like mud gifts? Stop. <laughs> just stop it. Yeah. End this. No. But anyways, so yeah, I'm eventually going to get Alpha Sapphire. I mean, but let's be honest here. Ruby and Sapphire both suck in comparison to the greatness that is Emerald. Yeah. Why it's... couldn't they have just remade Emerald? Uh, because if they didn't have two games, it wouldn't be Pokemon. Yeah, but like, it's just garbage. Just, like, they should have remade Crystal, and they should have remade Emerald. I'm disappointed that they didn't do Crystal, either, but whatever. I'm okay, I'm okay with it. I'm Part of me thinks that this was kind of rushed out the door, just because we have to remember, this was, like, announced sometime after Y, so that makes me think that that was during the time when the Wii U was kind of struggling, and before, you know, Smash and Bayonetta was out. So yeah. I assume that they just wanted to build some hype. Right. Which is why stuff like Smash and, um, didn't turn out maybe as everybody wanted. Yeah. Everyone was just on the whole, Hoenn confirmed! 
I know, freak that, out phase. That hype train lasted for months. Yeah. Just totally trumpets know. parading down the streets. <laughs> Just howling horns blasting. Yes. Did Otherwise. you ever hear that, uh, that uh, remix of Stand Proud with the Hoenn trumpets? Yes. It was so good. It's okay, I guess. And connection error. Yeah. No, this no, is Jamcast, no. everybody. Nobody knows. Shut up. They didn't hear it. Anyway, uh, uh, one last thing. How was that Star Wars trailer? It was... Mm, it was pretty good. Hmm. It wasn't bad. I was shocked. Um, Why not? Sure. He's J.J. Abrams seems like he's doing fine. Yeah. Also, entire internet. Shut the fuck up about the Black Stormtrooper. I don't know why this is a problem. Uh, People are bitching and moaning. The only reason I would be bitching is because it's not Django. The whole thing is that these clones, they're clones of Django Fett. That's my only problem, just with continuity. But it's like, oh, why well, can't fucking black guy be, you know, better than Stormtrooper? Lando. That's Lando. That's all I need to say. Lando wait, Curtis. hold on. Did you just say that, like, the Stormtroopers aren't all clones? Aren't they? Or am I stupid? No, I mean, there's probably some clones left, but, like, there's there's plenty of non-clones. Like? I don't know. Like, only... just think about it. All the clones from the Clone Wars would probably have gotten old, you know, and died. Or do they just, don't they just have a giant factory that just makes them? I don't even know. I don't remember. I, I just assume. I'm just assuming that there, that the stormtrooper, the Imperial Army, had begun to get. It was open to recruits at some point. <laughs> sure. Because who would take that job? Hey, we. This giant Death Star thing might explode if we shoot this giant one thing into this little hole. But you know, other than that, we got great dental care. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, and also long sword lightsaber. It's got a cross guard. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah it looks pretty neat. I don't know, but my only thought was it doesn't look stupid. It's just one wrong twist of your wrist and you're gonna slice your whole hand off. Not really. I don't know. It just it looked like it was. You'd have to long. be a pretty shitty swordsman to cut your own hand off with something like that. Maybe that's the point. Maybe he is going to cut his hand off with that. Or maybe he's not incompetent. Maybe he is. We don't know. Unless you can go watch like the entire plot's basically been leaked online by now. That's I'm not gonna I'm not touching that. I know. I don't like being spoiled on things, but uh are you actually gonna go see the movie? Yes. In theaters? Yes. Alright. I don't I'm gonna know. go on day one. Alright, story time. Uh, way back before this was even, there was a trailer before it was just confirmed that there was an episode 7. Um, I was over at SDK's house with our friend Brett and his brother. And we're just shooting the shit, just eating pizza and whatever. And Star Wars comes out. And I ask everybody, okay, who here is actually going to go see Star Wars episode 7? I've never heard a table full of metalheads and punks just completely go silent at a moment like that. It's, who, who? I really don't think I'm going to go see it. Why not? I don't know. It's just something tells me not to go see it. I feel like I'm going to be disappointed. It's going to be great. Watch it's, the, me. it's being directed by J.J. Abrams. Well, I don't know. I just, something about this new movie makes me feel uneasy. It's, I know George we Lucas basically is the anything about it. Well, I didn't know it's anything about new, the robot. Therefore, it's garbage. I didn't know anything about the RoboCop remake, and look how that turned out. Yeah, but but that was that was doomed to fail because, like, just seeing the commercials and the fact that it the fact that it was PG thirteen. I mean, you knew we weren't gonna get the scene where Bertie was just getting shot to death. I know. His limbs exploding. We weren't then, gonna see the guy getting melted by the acid. Yeah, I was gonna bring up that melting scene. Like, wow, what a great piece of fucking cinema that was. 
Yeah. Uh, my whole, I got a whole rant video on my plan to why the movie industry sucks. I need to make a whole thing about why the RoboCop remake is terrible. Boy, that day I went to go see that movie. Um, I saw the original first, saw the remake, was pissed off the entire way out of the theater, then went home and typed up that review for two hours. Yeah. What a fucking shit show. Robocop was ruined. I put I put that room remake underneath Robocop 3. Mm. Yeah. I haven't even seen the other two Robocops, but I heard they were bad. Uh, the second one, I don't think it's that bad. It's definitely not as good as the first one. Third one supposedly is shit. It's like he fights ninjas and shit, which I think is great, but in a so bad it's good kind of way. That but, sounds great. I know it sounds great. Whatever. Robocop versus ninjas. I know. Like, how can you not think that's amazing. That's something that like a twelve year old would dream of and that like twelve year olds watching Robocop would already dream of. Yeah. But it's a better Why is it that kids always come up with like the hypest shit? Because they're not they haven't been bound by school yet to think in a linear fashion. I have no idea what you just said. They haven't been bound to think in such a forward condensed way they don't they have imagination yeah like that's why people like that. like everybody's focused on being all dark and edgy oh. and then there's just this five-year-old coming up with axe cop i don't even get axe cop i tried reading axe cop i really did i don't get it it's great no it's really not i really don't get lich king's fascination with it or just tom martin it's it's great whatever well, let's not talk about yeah. Lich King yet. The point is, kids come up with the best stuff. That's why, if you're a writer, you just kind of think, just pretend you're five years old. You know? Most well, writers you... act like they're fucking five years old, but whatever. Yeah. Like, I, I had a moment where I was coming up with some, I, I was brainstorming on some ideas, and thought, and I thought, holy shit. This idea is so stupid. It sounds like it was ca made up by a child. And that's why it's amazing. <laughs> Alright. You know? Yeah. I mean, like, why not just have, like, the most OP character exi in existence? Why not? Because then you get One Punch Man. Yeah. <laughs> I started reading that. I also started reading One Punch Man. One Punch Man, read it. It's amazing. Why is it so good? <laughs> I don't know. All right, so One Punch Man is this awesome manga about a dude that just trains really hard and it can beat anyone with one punch. Yeah, and what? he's super like <laughs> d bored because all his fights end in one punch. I know he's, he's like... unfulfilled and sad. It's weird. Yeah. It's great. Anyway, go read One Punch Man. We gotta read this list, because holy fuck, is a list. Yeah. So, Megadeth. Megadeth. Lots of shit happened. Holy shit, lots of stuff happened. Uh, let's get the boring stuff out of the way. David Mustaine's mother-in-law was found dead. Wow. Sad. You're an asshole. What? Let's get the boring stuff out of the way. Do you this care about Dave Mustaine's mother-in-law? Have you been following the story? Not really, but you're still an asshole. Yeah. Anyway, let's get to the real news. Uh, Sean Dover and Chris Broderick have both left. Eh. Who cares? Yeah, who cares? Really? Is, 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 is Dave Mustaine still there? Yeah. yeah. Fine, awesome. Uh, Chris Broderick, he, he was decent, but he was no Marty Friedman. Yeah, no, that's what everyone's been saying, is that Friedman needs to come back. Yeah. Um, a bunch of people who were former Megadeth members have just been saying, no, we're not coming back to Megadeth. Shut up about it. <sighs> you can't see what I'm doing, but <sighs> no one's coming back. Nobody. Depends upon a new guy. Well, Dave Mustaine's kind of an ass. Yeah, he was. I think I said it before, but Endgame was supposed to be a Dave Mustaine solo thing, so I no, think it wasn't. Yeah, it was. It was Endgame. It wasn't Endgame that was supposed to be. It was, uh... Oh, fuck. I can't even remember the name of it. It's because it's Endgame. 
It's not. It's not an end game. It's the what. It's the one. Like it's the one that has the. The system has failed. That's it. I don't. That was supposed to be a Dave Mustaine solo album. I will Google it after I'm done here because I'm pr- pretty sure you're wrong. No, it's the system has failed. I know it. Nah, your system has failed. Your mind has failed you. Yeah. Well, you've got the system. You got the down. Fuck off. This, no, wait, I fucked that <laughs> up. Are you trying to say something like system of a downs? Yes. <laughs> Syndrome of a downs. Yeah, I could. I I've gotten so used. To that stupid syndrome of a down joke that now I th- that I forgot that it was actually called Down Syndrome and th- and instead tried to say Down System. Awesome. Uh, stupid. That's the system that's of the a Down is great thing. though. No, they're not. Everybody listen to them. They're great. Go listen to Surge. He's great. Yeah, but listen to System the two though. They're amazing. If you listen to Doctor uh, Stuff, you have cancer. Um, I is, forgot just how all over the place they are. Like I was listening to Mesmerize yesterday. And there's a song called Holy Mountains. It's the sad, tragic song about the Armenian genocide. And then right after it, it's just. Banana, 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 terracotta, banana, 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 terracotta pie. Like, what the fuck? What that the fuck are you stupid. doing? It's so amazing, though. That's stupid. That's really dumb. Anyway. Uh, Dave Mustaine constantly reassures everybody, hey, Megadeth isn't disbanding. Yeah. Also, because you're still in Megadeth, Dave. No shocker there. Yeah. But... But Who do you think could replace Sean Dover? Somewhat. You know who could replace Sean Dover? Lars Ulrich. Yeah. <laughs> you yes. Know who could replace Sean Dover? Dave Lombardo. Dave Lombardo. It was me, Lombardo, all the time. Yeah. So Dave Lombardo basically said, if Megadeth. Wants me to join. I'm down for it. Not and so. We are all down for it as well. Not so subtle there, Dave Lombardo. Jesus. Like, what is Dave Lombardo's deal? Like, he leaves Slayer, he starts his own thing, and now he's like, hey, I could, I could drum for Megadeth. That'd be cool. I want to hear that. I want to hear his thought process where he thinks that he can just go to Megadeth after being Slayer and just be like, eh, bye guys. Gotta go do yeah. the thing now. You know, if that happens, it'll be even more of Mega Dave. Because you've got three out of four people named Dave. One step closer to just the Dave experience. Yes. (laughs) The Dave experience featuring Mega (laughs) Dave. That'd be great. So, uh, you know, we just finished recording a new album. Boom. Hailstorm. Who? Who? Yeah. High five in this air, everybody. Hailstorm is coming back. It's amazing. Uh. If you wanted to hear Judas Priest, if they had a female vocalist, you should listen to Hailstorm. That's debatable. Yeah, whatever. Hailstorm's amazing. Go listen to it. Uh, go listen to everything that they do. It's amazing. Mm. They covered a fucking Judas Priest song, and it sounds amazing. You admit it. I I haven't even heard of it. Yeah, sure, whatever. I just I just I really only listened to one Hailstorm album. It was the one with Love Bites on it, and I was like, yeah, this song is great. Ah, these songs are not that yeah. songs great. There's some more filler. It it's feels like there are some filler songs, but I'll give you that one. But the rest of it's amazing. Yeah, there's like. Hailstorm, like, like I would not recommend listening to full albums. Just, just check out a few songs. Whatever. I, I, I'm just saying, they've got a lot of good stuff, but a lot of bad stuff. 
I enjoy everything on that album, but alright, whatever. Even the filler, I like it. Not everything has to be filler, whatever. Cannibal Corpse lyrics have been banned in Russia. <laughs> awesome. Like another reason for Putin to get mad, whatever. Okay. Uh, but the reason I wrote down here that they were actually banned is because lyrics and imagery may affect the mental health of children. Yeah. That's kind of the point. Do they not have, like, parental advisory labels in Russia? I don't know. Russia's a weird place. They're just like, everyone's just riding horseback and drinking vodka in the snow. Yeah. At the same time. Like, yeah, and then there's also jungles. And just frozen masses of Chernobyl. Yeah. And that creepy Ferris wheel from Chernobyl. You ever see that shit? I... I... Yeah. Yeah, that Ferris wheel is fucking... Ugh, it's horrifying. I don't know why it creeps me out so much. Maybe because I hate clowns. Because Chernobyl... Chernobyl's a fucking scary place, dude. Like, it's just overgrown wildlife and just wild dogs. Yeah. Nice. But you know what's not full of wild dogs? What? HBO. Why? Because a documentary on Kurt Cobain is coming to HBO. Okay. This is a strange coincidence, considering that the last episode of the Foo Fighters uh, series is going to air soon. Okay. And apparently Courtney Love is completely not involved with the documentary at all. Huh. Huh. Coincidence. It's okay, almost now. like it's trying to feed into your silly conspiracy theories. It's not a conspiracy it, when it's true. <laughs> Obviously. Illuminati. Uh, you guys can't see it, but right now he's wearing a tinfoil hat. <laughs> It's a tinfoil fedora. Look it up sometime. It's called fashion. <laughs> the uh, inside joke to that is that I know that uh, Kurt Cobain was killed by Courtney Love. Sure. No. I have evidence. That's what. Stuff. That's what he says. That's what he knows. <laughs> Truly. I know it. Uh. <laughs> I... Speaking of a better band than Nirvana, Creed. Who? Exactly. Um, Creed's Scott Stapp, uh, the guy who used to sing for them, is broken living at a Holiday Inn. Sweet. Hilarious, if I do say so myself. Good. Which is one of those weird things, because, like, like it or not, people bought Creed albums. People actually paid for their music. Like, they made a bunch of money. What happened? Uh, I... Imagine if, like, Lars Ulrich was on the streets the next day, just broke. That'd be hilarious! <laughs> you know, it would be hilarious. Just, like, just sitting there like, I don't know what happened, it was sitting in my house, now I'm in the streets. But, which is super weird, I just I just thought that was strange, because, I said, people could buy Creed albums, what did he do to their money? Did he just gamble it away? Maybe, I don't know. They're like Nickelback, except even l l more hated. Yeah, what? Can I ask why people hate Nickelback so much? Because they're bad. No, give me a reason other than they're just bad. They're bad? What's wrong? What specifically is bad about them, though? The fact that they're bad. <laughs> okay, then why is Creed so bad? Because they suck. <laughs> Shut up. With arms wide open. Uh, I feel stupid for saying that. Um, hey, you know what's uh, awesome? What? Iron Maiden. Yeah. So, uh, we know that Bruce Dickinson is into a lot of weird things. Yeah. And one of the things was brewing beer. Yeah. He a while the back, they made their own brand of beer called Trooper. Yes, which uh, was only sold in UK markets. However... It is coming soon to U.S. markets in cans. Sweet. I don't drink. I am not 21, and neither are you. I do not drink either, but I will buy one of those just to have the can. Okay. Or, and then drink it when I am 21. Just, just buy it and then just leave it in, like, the cellar. <laughs> 
Grungy's Jamcast does not um, enforce underage drinking. Yet. Haven't gotten that far yet. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm definitely gonna, at least gonna try it when I'm of age. Cause, why not? Hey. I will wear my Trooper shirt while I'm drinking, cause this is the exact same shirt that I have for Trooper. Okay. Trooper's also my favorite Iron Maiden song. It's also the best. Uh, de- debatable. I think the best Iron Maiden song is Ace is High, personally. My favorite is from the Blaze era, post Bruce Dickinson. They're okay. They're great I albums. Honestly, haven't listened to any of it because not Bruce Dickinson. Just <laughs> it's not my own personal. Ah, I fucking need Bruce Dickinson. It's just I haven't gotten around to it. Uh, they're really good. All right. Like the what they the amount of shit those albums get is not deserved. Like yeah, Blaze Bailey. I mean. Is not as good as Bruce Dickinson, but that's he's just doing it differently. He's not trying to be Bruce Dickinson. He's he has his own style, and Steve Harris, because he's a musical genius, he know, he knew how to write around Blaze's style. You know? Yeah, it's kind of like um, what's his name? The DiMaggio albums, the first two ones. Yeah. Like, those sound nothing like, like, the first two Iron Maiden albums, the ones with, with Paul Diano, yeah, they sound nothing like the rest of their, the rest of the albums, because Steve Harris, the bassist and founder of the band, basically, like, he wrote specifically to uh to conform to Paul's like a vocal style, you know? Yeah. Like <laughs> gross burp. Um Yeah. Iron Maiden history lesson. Nothing bad there. Yeah. Enjoy That's it. why pretty much every Bruce Dickinson song just sounds like Phantom of the Opera. Because he really can't write music. He can write lyrics, I guess. Yeah. So, you like Testament. I do. I also like Testament. Um, you know how you were all like, we should be able to invest in bands. And yeah. And that Queensryche thing that happened, we, that's close. This is literally investing in Testament right here. Hmm. Okay, so, listen carefully. You can apparently own shares of the Testament song Native Blood from Dark Roots of the Earth. Okay. But, um, just one song? Yeah. But according to the article that I read, it's really not much. Owning a share is kind of like a club membership, where you just you get early access to the new album, and you get a chance to meet Chuck Billy and some other people. Okay. But you also get this you also get this nice fancy plaque, I guess, where they it's, say, "Hey, you own a part of a Testament song." For that's life. pretty neato, I guess. Oh wait, it's not even for life; it's for like a year. Okay. Is this something that you would be interested in? I don't know, maybe. I don't understand this at all. Why are people really desperate for money that much that they need to like sell their songs technically? I don't know. It's kinda if, weird. If I get the rights to um a testament song, does that mean I can use it then in my videos? No. Because why not? Is you don't have the rights to it. Well I own it. If I I own one tenth of it, can I use that one tenth? No, that's not how it works. Are you sure? You can't, invest, you can't invest in a company and then say that you own that you own it. That's the copyright how is stocks not work, yours. Though. No, that's, that's not how it works. That's literally how stocks work. I'm serious. You own a hundred shares, you own a certain percentage of the company. Like No. Yes. That's not how you can't like you can't get the copyright through shares. Okay, that makes more sense, but I still think I have some say in how that song works, and therefore I can say that it's all I can use in my videos. No, that's yeah. not how it works. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it is. Like, you, like... Can't, you can't invest in McDonald's and then just open up 
some random shop and then call it McDonald's when it has nothing to do with the chain. That's not how it works. No, you, you franchise don't. it, which is something completely different and totally applicable. So I assume I can franchise out this song. No. Why not? That doesn't even make sense. Yeah, it does. You can't make a franchise out of this out of a song. Like, what are you gonna do? Make action figures? Dude, Rambo, Native Blood, <laughs> duh. <laughs> Rainbow Native Blood. Copyright. Hey, do you want to go to this Angel of Death coffee shop? <laughs> Dude, that'd be awesome. I'd drink coffee there. Here's the entrails ripped from a virgin's gun to car wash. Yeah. <laughs> Just cannibal corp lyrics, car wash. That'd be great. Perfect. Don't do it in Russia. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, speaking of testament, yes. there's a thing that, that you pointed me out to me. It oh, has yeah. to do with testament, and also it has to do with Exodus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, on the Blood In, Blood Out uh, CD, we kind of got shafted out of a good song with Chuck Billy and Steve Souza. And I was like, oh man, this is fucking stupid. Yeah. So I'm doing some... Re- 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 some re- 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 right some research on Chuck Billy for a thing for school, and I find in his Wikipedia, it's like, oh, he also started this band called Dublin Death Patrol, which I'm like, oh, what's that? That sounds awesome. It's yeah. Steve Souza yeah. and Chuck Billy yeah. just doing songs together yeah. because they're buddies. It's so good. It's so, like, it's not random at all that Chuck Billy just happened to be on the album, even though he sucked on it. Just, there's a whole band. This is a dream. Yeah, movie. it's really good. It's freaking amazing. It's what it is. I Don't listened to it. a few songs. I was like, yeah, this is fucking great. I was going to wait until the Jamcast to tell you, but then I was sending you the thing. I just went, no, he needs to know. He needs to know. Yeah. It's really good. It's really amazing. All Night Plug DJ. Just that. Just that. Yeah. Double Death Patrol. Go listen to it. Mind Sewn Shut is my favorite. It's just so far. Pretty good. Amazing. I also like how Chuck Billy, like, he didn't he doesn't do his high pitch stuff just because Steve sounds like he can handle all that. Yeah. That sounds nice. It's great. It's like you get the guy for the low parts and the guy for the high parts. And it doesn't sound awkward at all because they're both amazing singers. They're both amazing. It's like um on Born of the Imagine Bob. if they got like uh Bobby Blitz in there. Oh, don't even don't t- don't tempt me, don't tease me. Oh, it would be so good. Uh, it's, the only thing I fanboy out more about than Lich King is Overkill. Oh. Which, if anybody knows me, I fan out about Lich King a lot. Yeah. Almost to the point where you could look like a complete fool of yourself. Every time. <laughs> Almost. Haven't gotten that far yet. Um, yet? yet. What yeah. are you planning? <laughs> I'll get to that later. Um, you. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh god. Since we're talking about Lich King, let's have our Lich King update. Um, honestly, yeah. I was going to put a list or um, an item like a week or two when we were, you know, gonna do it. That uh, we should probably not talk about Lich King until the album comes out because I'm gonna end up talking about him too much. Yeah. Problem in there being, Lich King keeps doing amazing shit. They do. So, uh, Lich King got their new EP, and they're record- re-recording some stuff, and it sounds amazing. Yeah, they're I know this. Yeah. Toxicomy, Onslaught. All available on their YouTube channel. Yeah. Go check it out. It's great. Mascot yeah. War is great. Mascot War is the most random thing I've ever heard, but I love it. It makes no sense. It's... Like, what mascots? actually prompted him... What actually prompted him to write that? I don't know what I want to know. I, you you don't write you think about mascots from metal and you don't think about them fighting each other like I do all the time but you think about them fighting Frankenberry yeah and Cap Chocula yeah it's just metal versus cereal yeah Frankenberry dies alone 
The Frankenberry dies alone line, I want the fucking shirt. I love it. Uh, and Toxic Zombie Onslaught's there, it's great. It's amazing. Um, I didn't care for it too much just because it's already... I think the second album has enough sound quality to it. Yeah, because <laughs> you're, you're a hipster bullshit person. I enjoy the re-recording, you shit. Uh, just just put on your thick rimmed glasses and talk about how 240p is completely fine. I do not talk about 240p. I hate 240p. Let me tell you something. Sure you do. I had to live with 240p since I like had a computer. Like in 2012, I got better internet. I do not, I did not realize the shit that I was living with. I cannot. 240 looks like shit now. I was watching something today, and I, it was stuck on 240p, and I had to stop watching it because it looked like shit. Yeah. I. Yeah. You know what's the best plug-in ever if you have Firefox? Just YouTube HD. It saves those precious 20 seconds of having to change the video quality back to 1080p. Hmm. You know? With Sorry. YouTube HD, TM, you can... Automatically, everything is the highest qu- possible quality. Amazing. Yeah. I, I hope there's something like that for Chrome because Chrome is for amazing. Uh, yeah, but Chrome is also bullshit. No, Chrome is not bullshit. Why? Uh, because Chrome is bad. Why? It's it's a RAM guzzler. It is uses it? too much of the CPU. Is it? Like when I used to use. Chrome, like, multitasking was impossible. Like, everything ran so slow if I wanted to use Photoshop and listen to music at the same time. Hmm. Maybe just, I think my CPU was a little bit stronger. It's like, I think, 6. I think I have a 6 RAM. I forget. It's six yeah, RAM. I have 6 gigs of RAM, too. Hmm. I guess I just don't like that. Like, Firefox... I mean, it might not be as fast as Chrome, but it certainly fucking runs better. It I, works. I don't have the same problem, I guess, but I'll ch- definitely take a look at Firefox, because I never used Firefox since I found out that Chrome was faster. Well, it's the best. Well, apparently not, because long live Chrome. Long live no. Google, our lord and master. No. Hashtag big brother. Yeah. <laughs> See that there's someone's actually making a, a remake of 1984. Really? I forget who's directing it, but it was someone good. I, I forget. Yeah, because there hasn't been a movie about that since ni- actually 1984. Which is yeah. Weird. Which is super weird. Anyway. I hope they use Electric Eye in it. Oh, I hope they use Electric Eye too. Man, that would be amazing. Just do, do the Hellion while you're at it. Just make a long, low shot of, like, I don't know, some hanging trees or some shit and just. Yeah. Oh, that'd be great. Oh, I forgot to mention about Lich King. The stocking videos have begun. Oh, yes, the Lichmas season. The Lich, You know the Lichmas season is here when the stocking comes out. Yeah. He's come out of the box. He's trying to come out of the box? He's talking to, like, Christmas Hulk. Yeah. Christmas Hulk is where I fucking lost it. It's just... Look, everyone, it's Christmas Hulk. Say hi, Christmas Hulk. Oh, uh, God, we're fucking nerds. You can't say anything because you can't say anything, obviously. We are f- the biggest fangirls. No. Someone else is, I'm sure. <laughs> I think. I don't know. Uh, hey. Reverend, Reverend he was torn apart. <laughs> it was me, Austin. It was me. All along. I only have like two voices. And that's one of them. You know, you pro- probably play that stupid kill a kill thing where Nui like takes off her disguise and is like, It's me, Austin. Yes. All the time. What I do all the time is I watch the scene where she gets her arms cut off. Yeah. It's so it's so satisfying to just watch it just because she's like, My arms, my arms, my arms And then I'm just laughing. Uh, <laughs> Hate her so much. She's great, though. I know she's great. 
it's my sad truth that Nui is the best and worst character ever made. She's like the ultimate and simultaneously the worst waifu. I know. She has a subreddit, and I'm ashamed to say that I subscribe to it. What? Yeah. She, there's an entire subreddit just called Nui La Nui. Oi. Oi. Wait, hold on. You use Reddit. Yeah. What's wrong with Reddit? It's bullshit. Oh, shut up. Better than fucking FB. No. <laughs> okay. Whatever. No argument there. Yeah. Yeah. It is, probably. So the Lichmas season is upon us, and for some that just means it's Christmas season, the more boring holiday. Yes. So, uh, the UK apparently has Christmas, I did not know that. The- we- <laughs> What? <laughs> I'm just kidding, I knew the UK had Christmas, I just thought they called it something else. Uh, apparently Poland has a thing. Like, the, I have a friend from Poland, that, and he said, like, there's this thing on December 6th called Feast Day or something, and it's basically just like an early Christmas, you okay. know? Like, they think that the good old Santa Claus guy comes on December 6th. So basically, they all just use it as an excuse to have two days of Christmas. Nice. That's That sounds like something America would do. Yeah. Start early, and never stop. Christmas season lasts uh, from like the day after Thanksgiving until December twenty sixth, where it just cuts off immediately. Yeah, which I can't wait for because the fucking Christmas music is starting in my pharmacy. Ugh. Uh, can we just admit that Christmas music is the worst ever? It's bullshit. Nothing about Christmas music is good. However, if you're living in the UK. You can make some Christmas music actually good for once. What do you mean? Uh, there are a bunch of Iron Maiden fans in the UK who are plotting to make Number of the Beast yeah. the number one song in this Christmas season. Yeah! So, and apparently it's working? Yeah. I really don't know about I don't know about the progress of this, but apparently all they have to do is just buy Number of the Beast a bunch of times and it will get number one. Yeah. Remember when Killing in the Name of was the number one Christmas song. Yeah. <laughs> that was amazing. That, that is, there is some plot behind that, whatever some random song gets in, that there's a bunch of nerds like us that are just secretly chiming it on. Yeah. Oh my god, a bunch of Rage Against the Machine nerds would be terrible, though. No, but Rage Against the Machine is like, great. No, they're a bunch of shits. They're amazing. No, they're shits. They're, no, but they're good. No, they're shits. You're no, shits. they're bad. They're they're amazing. I'm more metal than you, Green Day. Anyway. <laughs> oh, God. So Axel Rose is not dead. Oh. <laughs> Axel Rose isn't that bad, but I didn't even know about this. This just went over my head. Axel Rose was declared dead on Wednesday, and now. Like, uh, two days later, they're like, oh no, Axel Rose isn't dead. Uh, <laughs> he wasn't in an accident or anything, it was just someone posted a fake news article. Uh, which is weird. How, wh when you're kind of famous like Axel Rose, how do you, like, not Google yourself constantly and just realize that you, you've been dead since Wednesday? <laughs> I, I don't know. How would you react if... He if, seems like the kind of guy... That would, like, Google himself every day. How would you feel if you Googled yourself one day and it's just, Dr. Stuff is dead? I, 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 I'd play into that. <laughs> you would play that. Yeah. Just, hey guys, I'm a ghost, which means I can get away with anything now. Yeah. Can you, but, can you walk through walls? No, my ghost powers aren't working right now. Doors are for squares. No, you know what I would do? I would act like I was someone else and just pretend that I was, like, my closest friend and then just tell a bunch of glorious lies about myself. You would just, like, you would... Like, did you know that Dr. Suff 
once ran into a burning building to save a bunch of cats. And those cats were holding, were pregnant with dogs. <laughs> <laughs> that way you can get the kitties and the puppy. It's a giant bag. All right. Did you know that Dr. Stuff wrestled bears in his spare time and once high five Zangie? Yeah. Did you know that after he defeated the bear, he spared its life because it had children? And he personally brought it back to health? <laughs> he raised the bear that he almost murdered back to health? Dr. Yeah. Stuff sounds like a cool guy. Okay, if I would ever tell a lie about myself, it would always be something um, stupid because I'm a terrible liar. Did you know that Grungy once did a thing? Did he do that thing? Yeah! yeah. He did a thing that one time, guys. Oh, Frey is Gary. superb. Superb. Did you guys know that Grungy thinks all new metal sounds the same? You're kind of right about that. App sounds the same. You're definitely right about that one. And that he hates music. <laughs> music is for shit. Uh, I gotta make a big sound bite, just a big soundboard of just me saying shit. Yeah. You too. Let's have a big grungy sound or jamcast soundboard. No, that's stupid though. No, that's awesome. Soundboards are dumb. No, you're dumb. The only use for them is like prank calls. The only use for them is when you're doing shit like a podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Huzzah. Reverend. He was he taught was him. Taught him. <laughs> oh, fuck. God. Why? Why? Why, Lich King? Why are you so amazing? Uh, because they are. Before my Lich King boner gets too strong, what are you doing next week, Dr. Stuff? What am I doing? Uh, shit. Uh, last week of classes are coming up. And yeah, then soon, good. finals. Fuck. When are your finals? Um, I actually, since I'm taking a lot of, like, arts sort of courses, my only, f I think my only final is for math, and that's on the 16th. Alright, all of my finals, all of them, are next week. All of them. I just Sick. No, that's not sick at all. I'm I'm gonna fail. How many do you have? I have like four. Awesome. Hopefully, hopefully that won't be the case next year because I can take a lot of different classes, but whatever. <laughs> Gross. Well anyway, there are I have a ton of videos planned, and only yeah. one of them is currently still in production. Um, yeah, I have a bunch of videos planned too. Uh, I I said I, there'd be some coming a while ago, and that never happened. And the reason that never happened is because I don't have any really good editing software. You might just want to learn what works or Windows Movie Maker. No, but that's bullshit. I just I j no. No. Apparently. Like, the only way to do anything in Lightworks is to actually buy it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? Like, I can't even put text on the screen unless I buy Lightworks. So the free version is literally just for cutting and pasting stuff around. You That's know? terrible. It's you bad. Might, you might just want to get Movie Maker. I'm actually planning on getting the... Adobe Creative Cloud, so I can get Adobe Illustrator, Adobe After Effects, Adobe InDesign, and much more for only $20 a month. I would buy all that stuff, but I really don't use it enough to really make it worth my while, to make it worth, make that $20 really work for me. Yeah. Because, I don't know if you noticed, I'm terrible at Photoshop. That's why you do all the cool stuff. I uh, just I'm the best. I just make the music. I've been trying to learn one note for note. That's not going well, <laughs> as usual. So yeah. Yep. I'm terrible. Um 
Anyway, what was I, what was I going to say? I had announcing. Okay, a couple of videos. I don't know what order I'm going to do it, but first thing that's first coming up is my movie rant, which if you enjoyed that shitty rant video, it's going to be another one. Yeah. The sound quality is much better, I will say. I don't know what happened with the sound quality on that one. It wasn't great. Nope, not at all. Were you complaining at some... No, 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 never mind. That was... That's not what I was thinking of. I complain about shit all the time. It's just this... I just happened to record it. Yeah. Yeah. There was a moment in that video, I remember, where I get super angry. But I, I don't yell when I'm angry. I just say my opinions, if that makes any sense. So yeah. I'm like, I need to sound angrier. I, I should probably shout something. So I'm like... Android does everything, and then I shout, and I'm like, oh, that sounds terrible. You should bring it back down. And then I bring it back down, and then I lose my train of thought. So I just, for years, what a terribly prepared review. Or yeah. That video is shit. But the next one's better. I actually wrote shit down, and I just recorded it. It's kind of weird how, like, you, I assume, talk a lot more than I do. Like, I'm pretty inverted. That's not what I wanted to say. Introverted? Yes, introverted. It's like, you talk somewhat frequently, and apparently you're, you're not good at getting loud and stuff. Where I'm quiet all the time, and when I get, when I'm talking about something interesting, or something that pisses me off. I get really loud. Yeah. 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 It's my person. It's, it's my person. My natural ginger powers. It's your power of ginger. Yes. That's that's what drove everyone away from Megadeth. His, his ginger powers were just too strong. Yeah. I actually SDK is the one who told me about you know Sean and Chris Broderick leaving, and he actually said in the text. He said, I don't blame regular Dave, I blame Ginger Dave. <laughs> is that true? Since since all gingers have the power to connect with each other, uh, can you confirm this? Uh, yeah, hold on. Uh, is, is yeah, right? he's telling me right now to fuck off. <laughs> it must be interesting when you're a famous ginger and people are trying to just force their way into your minds. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I would do if I was a ginger. I should tell him... That he should say yes and invite Dave Lombardo in. Submit to your id, Dave. Submit you to keep it. using that. It, like, do you even, like, do really. you even know what it means? Not really. You told me what it's it meant, a, but I forgot. Yeah. It's, the id is basically, like, a part of the subconscious. Like, in Freudian psychology, which really isn't all too uh, accurate anymore. Like, I don't even think this is really even a thing, but I don't know. I'm not, I don't know much about psychology, but basically, in Freudian psychology, there are three parts of the mind. The, the id, the ego, and the superego. The, so, the id is basically like the animal instinct part of your mind. All the lusts, the desires, and all the anger, you know, that, that's where the id is. The ego is like part, is like what you've learned from society. You know, it's how to act as a human being like everyone else. You know, it's where your morals and everything are. And then the superego is actually, like, the culmination of your personality, you know? That still isn't going to stop me from using id, like, I don't know what it means. Yeah. Use your the words and you don't know what they mean. <laughs> get, get into your is it your Nirvana song that has... Like, those lyrics. What? You don't know what that means? It, like, isn't there a Nirvana song that's like, And he don't know what he means. Don't know what he means. And I said, 
Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Hold on. Yeah. Um, that's in blue. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't. So what you're saying is, I should submit to my id. No. You're just quoting song lyrics. Stop it. I I no. Support the war. War support. Yeah. Yeah. Eh? Eh? Sure. Eh? Yeah. That's a Slayer yeah. joke, eh? 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 Yeah. Bruce Dickinson. Stop. <laughs> no. You're 14. No. I'm never gonna stop. 14. You're, you're a candidate. Get in the fucking robot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I would get in the fucking robot and make my Bruce Dickinson dream come true. That sounded terrible. Uh, yeah. Goodbye, everyone. Cue awkward and forced end of podcast. Make sure to add lots of the fucking pauses. Skype an engineer. Yeah. 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 Huzzah. Yeah. Just keep saying yeah. Yeah. That'll, that, that'll, yeah. <laughs> Maybe it'll be funny if we do it enough. Maybe it will be funny if we just keep acting like we don't know what we're doing. Which Ooh, is actually. true. Yeah. <laughs> I can't stop saying it now. We need to stop Fuck. saying yeah. That's kind Fuck. of. See ya. Bye. Yeah. Yeah.